All right, everyone, we are going to flash the Helltech version 3 LoRa 32 board. Now, if you got the intro, you understand that I have several different types. This is going to be me flashing and setting up this LoRa 32. It's brand new. Tiny little device, has a USB port for power, has an antenna port, has a little Bluetooth antenna as well there, and it has a screen. Included with the kit I got is a power supply, a couple pinouts, a tiny little radio antenna, and a plastic case. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and get the antenna attached. Now these are tricky. They just kind of snap into this little tiny antenna port and it's snug. So what I kind of do is I kind of just set it there a little bit and then I'll take some micro flyers I have and just kind of wiggle it around until I can get it to snap on there, hopefully. And I should be able to feel it snap in once it, there. All right, so that snapped in pretty good. Now I got the actual case here to see if I can get this open. All right, now this comes with the kit and it, I'm probably never gonna use the kit as it sits here. Now you insert the USB into the hole here in the bottom first. It'll drop down. You wrap the antenna around and set it in there. And then you snap the case back on. It's a pretty straightforward little case here. Now, do not power these devices on without the antenna securely attached, okay? So now, I, now that I got this guy plugged in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my computer and I'll show you what that looks like, so stand by. By the way, when it first powers up here, you're going to get um, connecting. It's going to do its little reboot thing. Now, I went ahead and already installed the drivers. So this guy should come up because I've done a couple of these already. And it hasn't come up yet. Com device. Definitely not one of those guys. Here it is, right here under ports. All right, so. I went ahead and installed this driver. You can get the drivers from many different places. I got it from Seal Lab, which let me show you that real quick here. Hang on. See it here. Now, if you have an error message here in your port, then that's when you need to install the driver, which I had to do. Now, notice it's it's located there, COM5. There's no errors. So this is now um, powered on through the USB serial. And I can go over to Meshtastic, and I can go to the flashing tool here. I can se select a device. Now this particular one is the version three. I can select the firmware. I'm just gonna go with the highest stable, and I can say flash. Now it's gonna tell me to continue. It's just saying that here's all the fixes it did. Now, I'm assuming it sees my device, but we'll find out. I'm going to do a full erase and a full install. Now it wants that COM5 device that you see here. I hit connect. Now what you're going to see down in this window is it's going to flash the device. It might take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here and I'll get back to you when it's done. Here now it says I can start over, but it says 100% complete. Now it's just talking back and forth to the device, so I can just go ahead and close this now. And what you should see over here is you should see that it is indeed running Meshtastic. Now this device is currently connected to my PC, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Meshtastic Web. Let me show you this real quick, and I'm going to say uh, new device, and I'm going to use the serial. And it's going to be listed right here. So I'm going to double click on that. And then now I have an unknown device. You see up here it says unknown. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go into the config. Well, first I'm going to rename this guy. I'm going to give it a long name of prepper number two. So this will be my second one. And pep two as the short name. 
I'm going to hit save and it's going to reboot the device or it should reboot the device here hang on save I hit save I got it save in the top corner all right Now it didn't reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot it. Hit reset. All right, let's go back and see if I can see it now. Now it's still, okay, now it says Meshtastic. Okay, so it's got a name here now. But it's not the name I want. Reference number two. Got two. Hit save. And now it's rebooting the device as I told you it would. Should have. Rebooting. Now the device is up. Now I can do a couple things here. Now I'm very new to this. Now I'm using the web interface you see here. Um, to do my configuration and I'm going to hit refresh here because it doesn't seem to pick it back up I'm going to exit the page, reload alright, PEP2, you see it, PEP2, PEPPER2, short name, long name alright, so in the configuration I'm not going to play around with it too much I'm going to leave them all as clients for now I am not changing any of these settings, but eventually I will have different roles. I'll have a repeater and I'll have some client mutes out there. But right now I'm just keeping it as the default client. I'm not changing any settings other than the region. If I can find where that setting is. Because they need to be set right. So I'm just using US for now. And I'm going to hit save. And that's going to force another reboot. So I'm going to have to refresh this page in a second. Stand by. There's a lot of rebooting and refreshing when you set these things first up. Let me go ahead and hit refresh here. So again, I'm just getting into this. This is my first uh, time diving into the small lower radios. So I am sharing as I'm learning. All right, Pepper 2 is up. There's no messages. That's the map. Now, I've kept the default primary channel here, and it's the same. I don't have any channels 2s. I don't have any, any other channels whatsoever set up. But I did want to set a Bluetooth fixed pin for this, and I decided to go with something goofy. Let's try... Uh, well, let's just keep it one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to hit save. And you know what? When I hit save, it reboots. So now, with this guy connected, let me see if I can show you what I got going on here. I should be able to show you. Let's see if I can do this correctly here. On my Andrew device I have the prepper one which is green which indicates that I have a Bluetooth connection from my phone to that device which is here I got it off to the side let me bring it around so you can see it so I am connected to one device with my phone and the other with the computer screen so if I wanted to send a message I can see prepper one on my computer screen here and I'm going to type a message I'm going to type allo for my buddy I'm going to hit send now on my phone I just got an alert notification and it says I got a message so if I go to I'm going to turn this around look at it upside down here if I go to messages I have a new message here that says allo and it's from prep 2 all right. So what I've done is I've established in an in my office setup with two 
of these HelpTech V3 boards. Default config, no back channels, no nothing. Um, connecting from my phone to my computer. Now this is just a setup here. I'm going to be doing the same thing here shortly with the other devices I have as well as I'm going to get some antennas and kits in and what I plan on doing is getting it to where um, I can start building out a small mesh, mesh network. Alright guys, so that's me formatting devices, getting the two devices to connect. They each see each other. Um, you get messages on the devices themselves you can read. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little message that says Allo. And then uh, also with your phone, which is a primary use phones, tablets, or PCs. There are a lot of configurations that you'll see me doing in uh, other videos. But until now, for now, excuse me guys, I'm going to cut this one short. This is just me setting it up. And here, let me do one. I'll reply back from my phone. Let me reply here. winter all right so if I jump back over to my computer screen now I have a reply of D winter all right guys that's it for this video um, expect some more as I learn in play and build out this network over time I will have another video out with the other radios I got which I'll show you a sneak peek here of real quick I did get a couple of these guys so I'm going to have these guys set up as well. I'm still waiting for the cases for these and the batteries and some of the other um, better options for an outside uh, longer range deployment. All right, guys, until next time, everyone, please be safe. Thank you.